All right, time to explain how I eat. First of all, thank you to all the guys who commented on my YouTube video and all the hundreds of guys who replied to my email, especially the haters who tried to make fun of my lap coat and how I uh, look. <laughs> the funniest thing is that none of those guys could beat my arguments scientifically. So they had to resort to name calling, which is fine. It always makes me laugh. I am 100% open to scientific discussion here. So if you got any, please share it. Or if you want to keep calling me names, please do that too. I honestly enjoy the troll comments. So keep them coming. Here's the reality of the guys who do vegan, keto, carnivore, or any other fad diets. And being an outsider, it's pretty clear that these guys are in echo chambers. This is very common today. People have one narrative and they hang out in groups that have the same point of view and they all parrot each other. And then they just consume more podcasts and influencers parroting the same message. And then it becomes your entire worldview. This so-called diet becomes your identity. And that is when it can get toxic. Because anyone who opposes that viewpoint is instantly labeled a scammer or a charlatan. Vegans, you guys are the worst and you know who you are. Let me repeat, I'm not attacking you as a person. But unfortunately, because the diet or whatever you follow is so closely linked to your identity, you feel that I'm attacking you personally. So you gotta attack me back. Again, I'm not attacking you. Just the scientific validity of the diet itself. So all I ask is you try to counter my scientific arguments. But if you can't, sure. Ah, name calling is fun too always makes me laugh. So yeah, keep doing that too. But just a quick recap on why certain diets fail and hurt men. For instance, the carnivore diet. It lacks the daily requirements for many critical nutrients such as B vitamins, vitamin C, calcium, and it contains zero fiber. And we know that fiber prevents constipation and regulates bowel movements and removes waste from the body in a timely manner. No wonder carnivore guys always complain about the sh and because the carnies aren't allowed to eat fermented foods such as kimchi and kombucha, the diversity of their gut bacteria is very low. And low gut diversity is the metric we use for an unhealthy gut, which leads to chronic inflammation and disease. And from the viewpoint of evolution, it's obvious that plants want to be eaten. Because for example, when we eat their fruit, we help spread and germinate the seeds. And the toxin argument against plants is ridiculous because most plant toxins are eliminated by cultivation, cooking, and fermentation. The human gut is obviously designed to be omnivorous. And yes, the carnivore diet does help like 0.0001% of people with celiac disease or autoimmune disease, but that doesn't mean that everyone needs to follow it long term, especially the negative connotations towards true carnivore. And when we question the carnies about their blood test results, they avoid it completely. Like we know that SHBG rises and free testosterone decreases with carnivore, so much so that your poster boy, Paul Saladino, or Pauly Salads as people are now calling him, changed his entire rhetoric. Even Paul couldn't adhere to the strict carnivore diet. The cult leader himself was forced to add fruit, honey, and raw milk to his diet because he was suffering from low testosterone and metabolic issues with carnivore. And now he's even experimenting with rice. So like, come on guys, stop holding on to your pointless ideology. And uh, what about keto? Oh geez, where do I begin? First and foremost, keto guys are using a mediocre energy source known as ketones to fuel their brain and body. Hence the brain fog, their crotch and breath smells like acetone. And in women, this is called vaginal acidosis. 
Yuck. They're overburdening their liver as it tries to metabolize all that extra fat they're eating. Don't they know that carbs are required for optimal muscle growth and physical performance? No wonder those keto guys are so scrawny and always lacking energy. As men, we need muscle so we can protect our women and our family. No one will bully you when you have big Big muscles. Muscle is what allows us to burn belly fat at rest by increasing our basal metabolic rate. Being strong is what prevents us from breaking our bones when we get older. Men who lack strength and muscle tend to fall all the time and break their hips and injure themselves. They become a burden on their family. And uh, let's be honest. Muscle is the key to looking good as a man. How you carry yourself, and especially your posture, all depends on lean muscle mass. And uh, what about adherence to the keto diet? There's not a single keto study in which the participants stayed on the diet for more than six months. It's just not sustainable. The keto diet was created for children with intractable epilepsy. It's not for men. And even those children Children on keto suffer from bone fractures, kidney stones, and high levels of the bad LDL cholesterol. Keto's such a girly diet, I swear. I still can't believe men are trying to lose weight on keto. It's pathetic. And don't even get me started with the vegans. Only plants? Really? How are you gonna get enough high quality bioavailable protein from plant sources? You do know how important protein is for physical and mental performance, right? Oh yeah, my bad. You eat soy, for real? Well then good luck with your testosterone levels consuming xenoestrogens like soy every day. Soy and other xenoestrogens in the vegan diet decrease both total and free testosterone levels in men. And the vegan diet also lacks calcium, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin B12, iron, zinc, iodine. Look, these diets are fine if you've been eating Pizza Hut, McDonald's, and drinking Coca-Cola all day. Yes, these three fad diets, of course they're 1 million percent better than eating junk fast food. But be aware of the starting point. If your base is dog sh then jumping to something a little bit better is an improvement. But this type of thinking does not validate the long-term benefits or sustainability of these diets. All right, real question. Are you getting healthy because of the health plan you're following? Or is it in spite of your new diet? And if your starting point is garbage, then sure you will benefit from any diet. But it's time to look past the obvious and find solutions that give long-term sustainable benefits, which is why I'm here to help. My diet is designed to optimize male hormones, especially testosterone and growth hormone, so we can look good, have limitless energy, and perform physically and mentally at any age while you continue to eat your favorite foods without restrictions or limitations. So you can get all the important nutrients every single day and feel satisfied after every meal. While putting on muscle, losing belly fat, and being proud of your body. I've been following my science-based diet for more than 10 years now. Both my total and free testosterone is in the top 1% of all men consistently. And it's way higher than all the fitness influencers out there. And remember, I'm 42. I'm 100% natural and my T levels are higher than all those guys out there. And many of the guys who follow my programs have easily doubled their testosterone levels faster than they ever expected. So I guess something must be working here. But it's not just that. Let's go into the science here. My diet increases blood flow especially to the big guy downstairs through the increase of nitric oxide. 
It helps strengthen the connections between the brain and muscle fibers for optimal muscle growth. It regulates thermogenesis between neurons and fat cells. So you can lose that stubborn belly fat, also known as visceral fat, as soon as possible. It boosts sperm motility, morphology, as well as sperm count and volume. So your swimmers can be healthier than ever before, especially if you want to be a father. And we know that sperm health is the true hallmark of overall health in men. The foods I eat boost cognitive functioning, improving your ability to retain information and learn new knowledge faster than ever before. So here's what I ate yesterday. First, I had my daily morning chocolate cocktail. It was delicious and refreshing. Rock star energy to start the day. And by the way, I haven't needed coffee or any kind of energy drink in years. For lunch, I had a sandwich with eggs, avocados, cheese, and the most nutritious homemade spread you can imagine. It was so easy to prepare. Just took a few minutes and I ate like a king, enjoying every bite of nutrition, yum yum taste, and full satisfaction. And then we went out for lunch and I ordered a nice juicy cheeseburger and potatoes. And uh, the Greek salad with homemade dressing was so good and uh, had some kombucha later. Absolutely no carb restrictions. I basically eat what I want and I love carbs. Ah, but I don't eat poison like that high fructose corn syrup or bull fruit juices with processed sugar. Hell no. And look, the proof is in the pudding. I've been doing blood tests for the last 10 years. My testosterone is increasing as I get older and uh, SHBG is right where it should be. Most guys suffer from low T in their 20s and 30s. I'm in my 40s and my testosterone is more than 800 nanograms per deciliter. But it wasn't always this way. I used to be 376 nanograms per deciliter and I doubled it all because of my diet which, by the way, includes delicious desserts. And look, I'm a busy guy. I don't have much time to cook. So my meals are super easy to make and they taste amazing. It's the opposite of the boring foods in those fad diets. I don't get sugar cravings and dude, I'm genuinely excited for every meal. And yes, I have date nights with my wife all the time. We order pizza, tacos, burgers, all the fun stuff. And I stay six pack lean all year round and have kept all the muscle for more than 10 years now. It's easy. Anyone can do it. You see, when you're out with your buddies or your girl at a resto, the key is to know what to order and even how to get things that aren't even on the menu. Can't wait to teach you all those ninja skills. Your friends and family will be impressed and they will be dying to know your secret. Oh yeah, my gym performance. Never been better. I'm gaining some serious muscle and my wife loves it. She keeps telling me every day how much she loves the meat on my body and the bedroom action keeps getting better and better. It all makes perfect sense since my life is fueled by a diet backed by actual science. I eat the foods that men are supposed to eat based on our evolutionary history. And I got a few more secrets up my sleeve, like my beef liver recipe with a secret ingredient that makes all the difference in the taste. And uh, there's a lot more, but I'm sure you get the basic idea. And if you have any more questions about what I eat, please comment below. I love reading your comments and answering all your questions. Let's work together and get you that six pack lean body you've always wanted to optimize your physical, mental, and bedroom performance. So you can look great and feel more masculine than ever before. It's much easier than you think. Bye bro.